Welcome to lesson 4.3, Quick Graphs Using Intercepts. So in our last lesson, we looked at how we can use the function form or slope intercept form to select some values for x, substitute them into our equation, get the values for y, and then use those coordinates to graph the lines. <clears throat> Today's lesson is a shortcut on how we can graph lines simply using the x and y intercepts. So, the first thing that we have is the x-intercept, and the x-intercept is where the line crosses the x-axis. And remember, the x-axis is your horizontal one, y-axis is vertical. So simply put, where the line crosses the x-axis is when y equals 0. So to get our x-intercept, it's always when y equals 0. The y-intercept is where the line crosses the y-axis, and that's always when x equals 0. So, the idea of today's lesson will be to find the x-intercept and the y-intercept, plot those on your coordinate grid, and connect those two points to graph the line. So our first part is just asking us to find the x and y intercept of the graph of the equation negative 3x plus 4y equals 12. So to get our x intercept, we're going to put a 0 in for y. So that would become negative 3x plus 4 times 0 equals 12, or simply negative 3x equals 12. So then we can divide both sides by 3, and x equals a negative 4. So that means the x-intercept is at negative 4, comma, 0. Then we are going to do the same for the y-intercept by putting a 0 in for x. So our equation would become negative 3 times 0 plus 4y equals 12. So 4y equals 12. Divide both sides by 4 and y equals 3. So that tells me my y-intercept is at 3, or the ordered pair, 0, comma, 3. So now if I wanted to graph that line, I could just plot this point and this point, connect them, and my line is graphed. So in example 2, we're going to do just that. We're going to find the intercepts and graph the line. So graph the equation 3x plus 2.5y equals 7.5 by finding the intercepts. So for the x-intercept, we're putting a 0 in for y. So in that case, we have 3 times x plus 2.5 times 0 equals 7.5. So 3x equals 7.5. Divide both sides by 3 and x equals 2.5. So that means our x-intercept is at 2.5 comma 0. For the y-intercept, put a 0 in for x. 3 times 0 cancels. So we're left with 2.5y equals 7.5. Divide both sides by 2.5, and y would equal 3. So our y-intercept is 0 comma 3. So then we graph those intercepts, so over 2.5, up to 0, over 0, up 3, put those two points, connect them, and you have your graph. So try one more example with the equation negative 4x plus 5y equals 20. So we're going to put a 0 in for x and a 0 in for y to get our two values. So in this case, I started with the y-intercept. doesn't matter which one you start with. So I put a 0 in for x. So I have 5y equals 20. Divide both sides by 5, and y equals 4. So my y-intercept is 0, comma, 4. Then for the x-intercept, put a 0 in for y. So we're left with negative 4x equals 20. Divide by the negative 4, and x would equal a negative 5. So our 
x-intercept is a negative 5 comma 0. Plot the negative 5, 0 and the 0, 4. Connect your two points and you have your line. Now, if the equations are already written in function form, it doesn't matter. We can still put a zero in for y to get our x-intercept and put a zero, or to get our, yeah, to get our x-intercept and put a zero in for x to get our y-intercept. So to graph the equation of y equals 4x plus 2, I'm going to put a zero in for y and solve for x. So 0 equals 4x plus 2. Subtract the 2 from each side. Negative 2 equals 4x. Divide by 4. And x would equal a negative 1 half. So my x-intercept is a negative 1 half comma 0. Left 1 half, up 0. Then to get our y-intercept, we're going to put a 0 in for x. So y equals 4 times 0 plus 2. 4 times 0 is 0, so y equals 2. So over 0, up 2 to get our y-intercept. Connect our two points, and you have your line. So then, looking at our next one, y equals negative 1 third x plus 5. So just like last lesson, we could make a table, or we could use our quick graphing intercepts. So put a 0 in for y and a 0 in for x. When we put the 0 in for y, 0 equals negative 1 third x or plus 5. So to solve for x, subtract 5 from each side. And then negative 5 equals negative 1 third times x. So divide by a negative 1 third, which is the same as multiplying by a negative 3. So x would equal 15. So in that case, our x-intercept is 15 comma 0. So I do extend my x axis all the way out here, and roughly right about here would be 15 comma 0. Then for the y, put a 0 in for x, so y would equal 5. So over 0, up 5, connect your points, and we have our line. And then lastly, we're going to look at a word problem. So in this word problem, it says you're planning dinner for a fundraiser. Our goal is to sell $1,500 worth of tickets. Last year, 200 adults and 100 students attended. If the same number attend this year, what should you charge for each ticket? Write an equation to find the intercepts and graph. So I'm going to make X my adults and Y my students. So if it's 200 adults, it'd be 200 multiplied by x plus 100 multiplied by y. So we're trying to figure out x and y are the adult ticket cost and student ticket cost. And we want the total to be $1,500. So now we want to find the intercepts of this equation. So I'm going to put a 0 in for y and solve for x, where 200x plus 100 times 0 equals 1,500. So 200x equals 1,500. Divide by 200, and x equals 7.5. So my x-coordinate, 7.5, y-coordinate 0, gives me my ordered pair, 7.5 comma 0. Then to get my y-intercept, I'm putting a 0 in for x. So we have 100y equals 1,500, divide by 100, and y equals 15. So now I know my y-intercept is at 0, 15. So if I graph that line, so I'm graphing my two intercepts over 0, up 15, over 7.5, up 0, and we connect those. What that tells us is any point on this line is a possible solution to this problem. So there's a couple options for what we could charge for each ticket. We could use four comma seven, meaning $4 per adult, $7 per student. We could make both costs the same and say five and five. 
So $5 for adult, $5 for student, or the solution that I took off the graph would be $6 per adult and $3 per student coming from this point, 6 comma 3 on the graph. So any solution would be found on the line here, and those could be a possible answer to the question.